Hey guys, it's Doug. The point of this video is to show the oil pan modification on the 5.3. And a lot of videos are all talk, so I'm going to get right down to the business. This is the bottom sump off the of, uh, truck man, uh, oil pan. LM7 5.3. I'm just simply use my wizard with a cutoff wheel and a sawzall. Cut this off, and then if you see, I cut off about, you know, right where the back line is right where it meets here there's like this big chunk of aluminum nice flat plate long story short what I'm going to do is this oil pan I'm going to cut off I have marked the line here I'm going to cut off this much about an inch and a half and then I'm going to take this section of course I'm going to clean it all up then I'm going to TIG weld it back on here back into its similar position you know it'll be right up here will be much shorter. The purpose of this is to give me the needed clearance when I drop it in the holes. I mean I can use the factory truck pan as is, however I'm only going to have three or four inches of ground clearance. Not happening. And then I've cleaned the motor up quite a bit since the last video. <clears throat> Insides look good. Uh, this thing had frequent oil changes. You know, so I'm just down working on the BS aspect of it now. I mean, get motor mounts made, and uh, I'm throwing around the idea of putting a stick behind it, but it might be too much effort for the time being. So I'm just going to bolt up the Gray National 200R to this bad boy, throw an LS1 cam. Because I can find them dirt cheap. If not, I'll maybe just spend a little bit of money get a Thunder Racing or a nice comp thumper for this bad boy. Despite the miles, this thing's got some life left in it, and it's going to serve me well. Any questions you guys have with my oil pan modification, because I know there's a lot of guys out there doing the same thing, just hit me up, email me, send me a message, I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching, guys.